I got it, it had a check engine light, had the P0308, so the um, you know misfire on cylinder eight. Uh, what was going on was I changed the spark plug and that didn't do anything. So still, still the same problem. I moved the, swap the coils, still at, at eight. So we know there's a problem with cylinder eight. Um, so I heard a tick too, and I decided I was going to do a valve, um, you know, replace the valve cover and gasket and also replace all of the um, lifters on it. So this is a common problem and here is exactly why. You're gonna see what's going on here. So let me switch the camera around and tell you what happened. So here you are, here's the top of the engine. I took the, the top off. Um, I found some sludge in here. There's quite a bit of sludge, 245,000 miles. So I'm not uh, angry at that. Uh, what happens is here's your valves, right? Here's your lifters on top of your valves. I'm sorry, here's the, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the, um, yeah, there's the lifters underneath the, um, the rocker arms. And so there's cylinder two, four, six. If you go all the way back to cylinder eight right there, I don't know if you can see it right there, but hopefully you can. There's no rocker arm there. The rocker arm completely came off. And I'm gonna show you what, what, uh, what that does so we're in an area you can see. But basically you got your lifter there and if the lifter fails, these rocker arms can just slip right off and be sitting in the engine. So my one rocker arm is right down there in the bottom, just floating around in the valve cover gasket. Hopefully it just kind of stayed where it was. Didn't do too much damage. I don't think this looks too bad for the amount of mileage that this engine has, but I'm no expert here. Um, it's definitely got some red burning color. I did find uh, some chunks there. Let me show you that real quick. Um, over here, I found these like, almost looks like uh, bread, like, a, like you burnt a piece of toast sitting in the top of there. Uh, you're gonna see here also I have uh, what I've cleaned out the valve cover gasket with. Here's one, and then here's another rag that I've cleaned it out. So there's still a lot of sludge in there. I'm gonna clean that out. Um, then I'm also gonna clean clean and try to shine this with a nice, uh, you know, something not, not too harsh just to kind of get all that stuff off and then make sure I have, have it oiled up before I put it back. But my main thing right here is taking all these off and replacing the um, you know, replacing these guys, replacing the, um, the lifters. And then, uh, obviously there you can see the lifter because there's no, there's no rocker arm on it. It just completely fell off into the engine. Uh, so that's, that's the problem I had. I'm guessing it's going to happen to other people. And that's why I wanted to put this as a P0308 code and what else it can be. Cause everybody's telling you that, um, you know, what you should do is, uh, you know, change the spark plugs, uh, put some cleaner in or whatever, you know, in the gas, uh, intake cleaner, all that kind of stuff, sea foam, do all that stuff. But in this case, it was none of the above. It's, you know, a very common problem with this thing is the, um, the lifter failed and the rocker arm came completely off. And so, of course, the engine's not right, running right. Of course, the valve can't um, you know, depress all the way. And it's not, it's not, it's not depressing because there's not, there's no rocker arm there to push that valve down. And that's where we're getting misfire. So I don't know uh, whether it's the intake or the exhaust one, but if it's the intake one, then probably it's not pushing down the cam spinning. It's not pushing down and allowing gas to get in misfire or gas is coming in and then uh, it's not allowing it to exhaust misfire. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to have found this issue. I'm hoping I'll replace all these uh, rocker arms. I'm sorry, replace all the lifters, get the rocker arms on where they're supposed to be, and the car will be running like a top, I hope. Let's cross our fingers, see how it goes. But uh, yeah, give a thumbs up if uh, this was helpful to you. And uh, you know, thanks for watching. You're gonna see some other project videos on this Ram 1500. Um, show you real quick. It's a 2006, not in bad shape. I paid 1500 for it. He figured even if the engine's totally shot, still running, I'll run it into the ground and put a new engine in. What the heck, right? I mean, if it costs a couple thousand, a pickup truck in this condition would probably cost five grand. So if I pay two, three thousand dollars for an engine, so be it. But hopefully I've just solved my problem and I can fix it here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.